Greetings everyone. This is a quick video tutorial about the expectations for the spring of 2020 for our fifth grade students. You will have three options. You can either participate in the vocal virtual production of Don't Give Up On Me, which will be lots of fun and very, very easy. You can do the GarageBand MIDI arrangement modification, which I'm about to show you. This is also fun, not too difficult. Or you can do any pre-approved musical production performance cleared by Mr. Bima. Composition GarageBand project. So this will be a fun one. It's not too tricky. Students will use the uh, links to the right to pick a MIDI arrangement to download, rearrange, manipulate, to make their own style and improve upon. Mr. Ceruto and Mr. Blackmire and Mr. Bima all are aware that in order to do this, you have to break the rules. However, they are MIDI files. Mr. Ceruto is aware that you are doing this project. The most recent songs are the bottom three or four sites. Let's quick talk about it. Um, we're going to visit these sites, we're going to download, I'm going to quick show you how to download one of these and open it with GarageBand because it might try to open it in some other program. And then I'm going to quick show you uh, ways to rearrange or modify. It's nothing that you haven't learned. The only thing that you haven't learned yet is how to add your voice. Up here we can add and delete tracks. I'll show you that sometimes the arrangement is good, sometimes it's not, but you can always modify it. You can change selected sounds. For example, you can change a violin sound to a flute, or if it's a flute sound and you want it to be an electric sound, you can always adjust the track volume panning left and right. You should be familiar with that. Add effects, echo, reverb, course, etc. The and many other things. Automation and effects, you know how to do that. Just simply pressing the A key for your automation. You can add your own instruments and beats. So they might not have a drum track. You want to add a drum track, you can use a drum track. You can use your loops, you can do whatever you want. Add your voice using the microphone. Obvious attempts to mix and balance the projects, no peaking. And then share and export your arrangement. The biggest issue is for if you're going to use something from Carlos MIDI website, I need you to tell me that you are using Carlos MIDI website and the arrangement because I'm going to open that file. I'm going to listen to the original and then listen to yours so that way I can see the comparison. Helpful tips is simple. Choose a song that you enjoy. The more that you like that song, the more fun this project is going to be. And obviously watch this for reference. I have already opened up MIDI World, Carlos MIDI, and Beat Modo. The, the top two are more older songs. The libraries are bigger, but I would recommend Carlos MIDI, Beat Lab, Beat Modo. So on this midiworld.com, I typed in Journey over here, and these are all the ones that I've, that I've clicked on. Now, the annoying thing about this website is you don't get to preview it, so don't stop believing. You click on it, download it, open it. You might like it, you might not. If you don't like it, delete it, start over. Here's Carlos and one of the, they'll do the top songs that they have. You can also search here if you just want to search in Journey or Michael Jackson or whatever. I know uh, Dance Monkey is a pretty popular song, so I'm going to click on that. Great thing about these is you can play the MIDI before you download it. And that's enough. So that's we might come back and download that one. I did beat Moto and then go, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, and they have all this list of songs, and they have, oh look, Michael Jackson. I've already clicked on Michael Jackson. I want you back, Jackson 5. So just pretend, boop, I clicked on it. Come find it in our, our download. Uh, and we're gonna close that because my computer is working hard. So we're gonna do the free download of, of Monkey, and your computer might ask you, are you sure you want this? And all that good jazz. Okay, so now I have these two. Beautiful. And my computer is trying to open it up in Finale, which is a different program, and we're just going to cl force close that so that way it doesn't. To find those two tracks, I just go to my Finder, boom, I go to Downloads, and then there's the Jackson 5, and then there's the, the Dance Monkey. I'm going to right click. That's very important. We're not just going to click on it because we've got to tell, tell it what, how we're going to open it. So we're going to right click. We're going to open with GarageBand. Now it might take a while depending on how big or small the file is. The more layers, the longer it's going to take. So this is fairly simple. Look at this. There's not even anything in these bottom three things here. So this is flute, piano, muted bass, some sort of software lead. And let's see what's going on. So we're going to hit play. Okay, so right away, this doesn't sound good. So it's like, really, why a flute? So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna click on our library, and we're gonna pick, pick something different. And now we have... Let's turn that down a little bit. A 
Okay, so I can change that. So here, you know what? I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna um, create, I'm just gonna do Command D. I'm gonna then Command C this, and I'm gonna bring it back over here, and I'm going to open it up in my editor. So I just duplicated this piano part. I'm gonna delete all of the high stuff, okay? I'm gonna delete all that high stuff. And I'm gonna change this sound a low sound. Let's go let's go to orchestra and let's see what a tuba sounds like. It might sound horrible, but we'll check it out. And we're actually gonna quick highlight all these, make our view smaller. Whoops. We're gonna highlight all these long tones or these tones. And we're going to one, we're gonna make them longer. And then this is on an F sharp. We're gonna grab all these notes and make them longer and drop them. Okay, that actually doesn't sound better, but let's let's try it this way. And let's turn this piano. We're gonna hi highlight this piano. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. And we're gonna turn this piano into a vibraphone. And we're gonna see what that does. Dun, 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 ba, da, bom. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to make this longer. And then I'm going to zoom in here and make. So I just use my command and enter. And this might not sound very good, but I just wanted to show you that you can change anything within this mini. So now I have this. Well, that doesn't sound very good, but it gives you uh, an example. So I'm gonna click undo. You can also use your loops. So if we come over here and use loops and we click on, and now this version might look different than your version because this is my older computer and it's not completely up to date to 2020. <laughs> Even though this might sound absolutely bad, I just want to show you what you can do here. So I've just added this drum track. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to turn it down. And there's an, a whole gazillion ways that you can, what you can do to to make this arrangement yours. Now this is a very simple arrangement and very easy to manipulate um, with your copy and paste and adding tracks and deleting tracks. When you are done, you wanna to go to share at the top and you want to send your song to iTunes or to music now that's called, like I said, I am running an older version because I'm using my older computer. And then you wanna rename it, your name, MIDI, and then like the title, you'll hit share or send, it'll bounce it to your music or iTunes, depending on the version that you have. You don't have to sign in. Then my iTunes down here. So Dance Monkey, Jason Bible Mini Project. So I'm just gonna quick grab that, just drop it on my desktop. Then you just go to your email and select that file, send it to Mr. Bima at jbima at harborps.org. Making sure in the email that you include what website you used in the name of the title. If you have any questions, you can call me, you can email me, FaceTime, Zoom. The great thing about Zoom is you can share your, if you're having issues, you can share your computer screen with me and I can talk you through it on a specific question. Do as many as you want. I think once you get started, you're going to have a great time. It's going to be super fun for you because um, you're going to find songs that you really love to do and then make them your make them your own. Um, I only showed you a couple key components, but everything that we've done previous will help you have a lot of fun with this project. Have a great day.